Vegans have been quoted as saying a lot of controversial things, and perhaps the most controversial of them all is the comparison of animal farming industry to the Holocaust. We torment them, put them on concentration camp trucks. The animal holocaust was happening long before the Jewish holocaust, during the Jewish holocaust, and it's still happening today. Now when we first hear this comparison, it's very reasonable, very rational for us to ask ourselves the question, hold on a second, are they calling all animal farmers Nazis? But before we can actually get the answer to that question, we first have to listen to what some holocaust survivors have to say. When describing his visit to a slaughterhouse, Holocaust survivor Dr. Alex Hershaft said, I saw terrified animals subjected to horrendous crowding while awaiting their deaths, just as my family members were in the notorious Treblinka death camp. I saw the same efficient and emotionless killing routine as in Treblinka. I saw the neat piles of hearts, hooves, and other body parts, so reminiscent of the piles of Jewish hair, glasses, and shoes in Treblinka. Mark Berkowitz, a Holocaust survivor whose mother and sister were sent into the gas chamber in front of his own eyes, said the following during a meeting to defend geese in Canada. My mother doesn't have a grave, but if she did, I would dedicate it to the geese. I was a goose too. And finally, Isaac Singer said this when talking about animals. In relation to them, all men are Nazis. For the animals, it is an eternal Treblinka. Now all of these quotations have one thing in common. They're all referring to the subjective experience of the victim. To analyze that last quote, essentially what he is saying is, if you were to live through the Holocaust and experience that through the eyes of a Jew, and then live through the experience of animal farming through the eyes of an animal, you would not be able to tell the difference. None of these quotations seek to place blame on those participating in the violence. They only seek to empathize with the victims of it. So when we look at animal farmers and those who otherwise contribute to the industry, our opinion of them will change depending on what lens we choose to look at the industry through. If we are on the outside looking in from a human perspective, we see hardworking farmers who are doing their best to feed the world population. We see hardworking families, we see mothers, we see fathers. We do not see Nazis. However, if we are on the inside looking out from the animal's perspective, we see relentless and unfathomable violence. We see families separated by force. We see newborns taken from their mothers and killed. We see innocent victims being herded into a gas chamber with the threat of electrocution if they resist. From the animal's perspective, this is indistinguishable from a Nazi death camp. As Dr. Alex Hershoff said, it finally dawned on me. Never again is not about what others shouldn't do to us. It's about what we shouldn't do to others. Never again means that we must never again perpetrate mass atrocities against other living beings. That we must never again raise animals for food or for any other form of exploitation. In essence, if you think animal farmers are the exact same as Nazis, then I would ask you to seriously reconsider your views. However, if you refuse to see any similarities between what we do to animals and what the Nazis did to the Jews, then I would ask you to do the same. My friends, the most appropriate way to honor the memory of my family and my people in our Holocaust is to show that their sacrifice had not been in vain, that it has taught us some vital, valuable lessons and lesson number one is that oppression and slaughter of Jews, Armenians, Tutsis, Bosnians, people of color, gays, and yes, the animals are all linked. And they are linked not by the identity or the relative value of the victims. No, they are linked by the oppressive mindset. Yes, each episode of oppression is unique, particular to its victims. Our Holocaust is unique in the systematic way that one nation set out to wipe out another. The animal Holocaust is unique in the overwhelming numbers, hundreds of millions every day. We did not end oppression when we won World War II 